So I kind of wanted to show this to you guys. I'm kind of fascinated by the fact that I've set up a little kind of Rubbermaid tub. It's shallow, maybe five inches or six inches deep. It's made for under bed storage. And I filled half of it with gravel and I kind of make a little slope so that no matter what the water level is in this tub, they always have somewhere to get down to safely drink. And the girls love it, as you can see. It's a very busy night at the watering hole. It's been a warm day. We haven't had a ton of rain, so everything's kind of dry. Um, but regardless of the day, pretty much anytime you come out, you will see just about this. We have two hives, and the girls just love it. This, I think, is one of their primary water sources. And so they come and they land on the gravel and they poke their little heads down in the valleys and drink water and everyone's happy and we have very little drownings. And what I find kind of interesting is that if you compare and contrast that to the activity or lack thereof of the bird bath right next door, look at that, nothing. Not a single girl, not a single drinker. It's fresh water, I clean it out, it comes from the same water source. And yet, look where all the girls are in my cheap little Rubbermaid tub with the gravel that was left over from building a stone wall. I don't know why, but if you're looking for a cheap uh, water source for your hives, this seems to be one that makes the girls awfully happy. So, I just thought I'd share. Love to get your thoughts if you have any, any, uh, any suggestions as to why um, they might have such a preference for the gravel in the Rubbermaid tub versus the birdbath. So hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.